Hello everyone. So today I want to give you a serverless tip. Now in serverless architectures we use lambda functions quite often. And uh, whenever we want to call out to a third party service or a database um, or a different API or something, we probably need to call these services uh, with some secrets. It could be database string or it could be an API key or it could be some secret values. Now these secrets, the credentials need to be stored in the Lambda in order to call out to these services like the database, third party service, API, so on and so forth. Now the common practice that we usually do is to store these credentials in SSM or the uh, parameter store or secrets, uh, secret manager and then uh, when you are deploying the Lambda functions, we pull in these uh, secret uh, informations and put that into the Lambda environment. So when the Lambda function is running, these secrets are available in the Lambda environment. Now this is something common that we usually do, but uh, there are some problems to it. Now if you really go into the AWS console, when you open the Lambda and when you go to the configuration section of the Lambda and you can view the environment variables and they are available in plain text. And also, uh, since these are available in the Lambda environment, if you are using any other third party dependencies like imagine you are using Node.js runtime and you have different other Node.js NPM packages uh, using in that application. And in any of that package, if they contain any vulnerable code or security issues, then this uh, vulnerable code can access the Lambda environment, right? Because this is in the process.env, right? So it's available in the Lambda environment freely and pull in all these environment variable and push it to some other server or something like so. So there's this problem. Now, how can we like mitigate this issue? Now, one of the approach is not to put these or not to set these uh, uh, secret values in the Lambda environment. So where should we put them instead? Now, one of the places that you can use is the Lambda context. In every Lambda function, there's this context object. You can set attributes into that context object. And when you set that information in the secret information in the context object, even the third party vulnerabilities are not specifically designed to access this Lambda context and pull in the information and uh, send it to servers also, right? So your attack surface will be reduced. One of the uh, libraries that you can easily use for this purpose is called MIDI. And uh, this is a middleware library and you can easily uh, connect with Lambda. Uh, so with MIDI, you can wrap your Lambda functions around uh, MIDI functions and then you can ask MIDI to fetch these environment variables or the fetch these secrets information from secret manager or parameter store so on and so forth at runtime. Right? So it's not available with the Lambda function. So if someone go into the AWS console and observe your Lambda function configuration, these secrets are not available in the environment. Right? It's only resolving at the runtime by the MIDI library. And also you can cache this information. Let's say you request a database string and uh, at the runtime MIDI will uh, request SSM and fetch this information and you can cache it in the Lambda uh, environment. You can set a TTL as well. Uh, so after the TTL, let's say after five minutes, the cache will invalidate. So the next time uh, when the Lambda function is invoked, if it is already not available, the MIDI will again request from the SSM. So this has a number of benefits. One is, of course, uh, the security uh, uh, issue that I just uh, described will be uh, mitigated. And also, you can use this for A-B testing or feature toggling aspects as well. How can we do that? Because since, uh, we will, since these uh, dependencies are resolved at the runtime, once your Lambda functions are deployed, whenever you change the SSM parameter values in System Manager or Secrets uh, Manager, uh, then after some time, after that TTL is expired, Lambda will again call this SSM, SSM and pull in this uh, information. So if you change the values in SSM, let's say if your TTL is set to 5 minutes, after every 5 minutes, it will take the latest uh, information from SSM. 
So if your front end is depending upon some uh, information that your Lambda function returns, then you can control it. Thereby you can control some front end uh, UI, uh, you know, component showing and hiding, so on and so forth. So yeah, this is uh, what I want to share with you today. And in fact, I think uh, just yesterday, the, before I uh, published this video, uh, AWS has announced a Lambda extension um, to fetch these SSM variables from uh, System Manager or Secret uh, Manager or the Parameter Store or Secret Manager and cache it at the Lambda as well. So there's a uh, default integration by AWS as well. So probably you might not need to use MIDI uh, if, you're, if, you, if your sole purpose is to cache the credential at the Lambda. But MIDI has so many other utilities. So it's always really good to look at uh, all these middleware supported by MIDI. There are so many uh, like anonymizing uh, personal data. There are so many other useful uh, utility libraries. So go check MIDI and see if that is applicable for your application as well. That's it guys. Thank you. Bye.